My pastor's dream is a warning we should all take seriously. I'll never forget one night I went to bed and I had this dream. And in this dream, I was with two other friends of mine who were also pastors at the time, young men like me, just in starting out in the ministry. And we were in a car and in my dream, we had a car wreck. I don't think I was driving, but anyway, we crashed. And I knew we were dead. We literally died. I've never dreamed before that I died, but I died. I and my friends were suddenly, and I knew it, in the presence of the Lord. We were in heaven. And it was, I remember this feeling in my dream, kind of like I felt when I was a younger kid, when you finally get to go on some ride that you've always been afraid of, but now it's your turn. I, I remember feeling in my spirit as I'm dreaming, I'm gonna see Jesus for the first time. It's gonna be unbelievable. I'm here, I'm in heaven. I mean, it wasn't like I was doubting I was going to heaven, but now I was actually there. And I remember in my dream, looking up and seeing Jesus. Now, don't ask me what his face looked like because I don't remember. I wasn't supposed to remember that part of the dream, but I knew it was him. And I thought, this is incredible. I'm finally here. But what was so hard about the dream was he was not smiling at all. And he looked at the three of us pastors and he said these words, why did you tolerate it? Why did you tolerate it? That, this dream that became a nightmare for me caused me to wake up in the middle of the night. And you know what? My mind immediately went to Revelation chapter 2, verse 20. This church that was tolerating sin. And I knew the Lord was reproving me. It was for me about how I was going to handle marriages and remarriages, infidelity, and the culture that says eat, drink, and remarry, but Jesus says something else, and I realize I cannot go down that road. I'm gonna stand before the living God and give, give an answer to what I've done. I will not do that in the, my ministry. And I, I remember the Lord just speaking to my heart. It was heavy, you guys, it was heavy. This message to this church is heavy. There's no other way to explain it. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, these things says the Son of God who has eyes like a flame of fire and his feet like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your patience. And as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. Revelation 2, 18 through 20.